life. with all of its imperfections. is spontaneous, natural. We are spirits locked up inside our skins. We have thoughts, feelings, values, love, virtue, intelligence. We strive for order. However, we consider this world to have no mind to our means. The world as we know it is a mechanism that we live in the middle of. A mechanism that we subjugate. And even though we live in this world, it is foreign to us. And while foreign, this mechanism helps us find our true selves. Through a cosmic ballet of wonder and beauty, life brings us together. To find out who you truly are, you must seek enlightenment through yourself. Go out into the forest. Listen to the great silence and reach a new state. For I, a stranger and afraid, in a world I never made. Jasper, sit down. Please. Please. Okay. This is a very serious issue. You understand this, yes? Yes. We can't go on with our normal lives. Yes? Yes. It means no more school, no more work, no more going out with friends or family. Our lives are different. Yes? Yes. We have to escape this world, yes? Hey. We have to escape this world, yes? Yes, Jasper, yes. Yes, what? I understand. I understand what? That we live in the matrix. That this world isn't our own. It doesn't exist. And we need to escape. Hmm. Look at me. Victoria. Please, look at me. We all have our purpose. And as for us, it's not here, in this world.
This is a note to you and others. We often cherish the things we hold dear. However, once you find out, you feel lost, scared, alone. With every heartbreak, accomplishment, with every breath we take, our experiences are only mathematical renditions in code. I was told that we were in the Matrix. I was told all about the other side of this world. However, there is no use in chasing a Morpheus. That was a long time ago. Another life. A life I was never a part of. You don't believe, do you? You shouldn't have to feel trapped within a place you used to call home. However, when you've seen what I've seen, the overwhelming sensation, the unbearable heartache, consumes you. The things we make, the things we love, don't exist. What about Aaron, Jasper? What about my son? He doesn't exist. He doesn't exist. He's, he's a dream that, that, that only materializes when you're looking at him. Everything that happens in that boy's life is, is only randomized scenes generated by a program. You, you can't be doing this. If we continue to live this life, we'll be living a lie. Please, Victoria, let him go. Down the gun, Jasper. You don't believe, do you? No, I, I, I believe. It's just that, I mean, how do you know for sure that this will solve anything? Because I've seen it. I've seen her. And she's just as real as you or me. She's told me things, Tori. She's told me things, things you wouldn't understand. We can get out of here. We can live our true lives the way we're supposed to. I know you know. And I see you, you've, you've made your choice. Please don't do it. Jasper, please! If you know nothing from what I've told you, please know this. The men in the caves, they were too fixated on the shadows to know that the sun had created them. I hope you find your boy. Even though Every heartache, every moment of time, and every step we take in this world is lost in this cosmic ballet of wonder and beauty. You'll find peace in the cemetery wind.
But you know what I found out? If someone was truly determined, there is nothing anyone can do to keep them from the truth. The search has always been in ourselves, within our minds. Because what I have, what we all have, transcends time and space, reality. True beauty is with us, and in us we have him. The matrix is real, and it is a cage that keeps us limited from our true potential. But when we wake up, we are free. We are all lost in the matrix.